The primitive streak results from the proliferation and migration of epiblast cells in the median plane of the embryonic disc. As the primitive streak elongates as more cells are added to its caudal end. Towards the cranial end of the primitive streak, the cells form an elevation that is known as primitive node, also known as Hansen's node, which bulges into the amniotic cavity. Soon, a depression appears in the primitive node known as primitive pit. As the cells of the epiblast migrate towards the primitive streak, the shape of the embryonic disc changes from round to oval and oval to pear-shaped, with a broad cranial end and a narrow caudal end. The detached cells of the epiblast around the primitive streak invaginate into the primitive streak. As the cells invaginate, some cells displace the underlying hyperblast, forming the embryonic endoderm. Some of the invaginating cells from the primitive streak lie between the epiblast and the newly formed endoderm forms the intraembryonic mesoderm. Later, the remaining cells of the epiblast give rise to the ectoderm.